Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie another one of Jack Gartside's designs or flies and this is going to be an elk hair stone fly. The hook that I have in the vise is a this is a dry fly hook and it is one extra long. It's a size 10. This just happens to be a mustad 9672. 9671 is actually a longer shank. But uh, any 1x or 2x uh, dry fly hook around a size 10 will be sufficient. Unless the stone flies that in your area are larger than that. Then just use a hook accordingly. The thread I'm going to use is a gold thread. I'm going to put a base of thread down. And bring that thread all the way back to where it would hang at the bar had I not pinched it down. Oop, back that off a bit. There we go. go be one or two more wraps. There we go. Now for the tail, we're going to use elk hair. And I have an, an elk hair skin here. And I took some of that hair off and put it in my hair stacker. When you, after you cut it off, you want to use your comb and get the little fuzz out of it. Out of it. I'm going to go ahead and stack it. I always lift the hair stacker a bit, and then when you take it off, you should have your hair pointing in the direction you're going to put it on the hook, so you don't have to transfer it too many times. So the tail should be about one half to three quarters of an inch long. So we're going to make that about one half for this size. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that on there. I'm going to keep holding it and I'm going to wrap the hair forward or the thread forward. We're going to come up to about two eye lengths the two to three eye length from the eye of the hook. I'm going to cut this off. Cut that off pretty close. I'm going to actually back off on this just a little bit and trim that a little bit more. Got a hair sticking out down the back. You can see it's rolling because I don't have it tightened down yet. If you tighten it too tight right off the beginning, you're going to make the tail flare. So I'm going to trim that down even closer. And just go right around with this. Make sure my hair is on top. I'm gonna hold that again so it doesn't spin. Now I'm gonna tighten this hair down on my way back. You can see how much it's getting squeezed. Get that right through the back there. And see, we don't have much of a flare on that uh, tail now. And now for the rib, we're going to use a furnace hackle. If you don't have a furnace hackle, you can use a brown dyed grizzly. And here's a brown dyed grizzly. You want to use that furnace hack because you want that black to show like a rib. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to size those hackles there. I'm going to get that down to around there. I'm going to give it a short crook out here because I might. I don't want to run out of feather. 
So now when I tie this in, I'm going to leave just a slight amount of that crew cut exposed so that first wrap, the hackle doesn't go towards the rear and just secure that down. Now I'm going to turn my fly upside down, give me more space to dub. Now I'm going to use a golden brown or this is actually he has golden brown but golden brown is also a golden stone fly color and he suggests antron I'm not using antron because I don't have any of that color at left but I have this awesome possum and the reason for the Antron is Antron doesn't soak water as quickly as anything else. So it helps with the buoyancy. But with the hackles on it, it should be fine. Then we're going to wrap this. We don't need a big noodle. We don't need a fat noodle because we have that deer hair underneath there. And that deer hair is also going to help to float the fly. So actually throw this fly in some faster water and it should float pretty well. And I'm going to wrap my hackle up. Just one more small pinch should do it. Like, I, I could have got a good, uh, you know, skinnier pair of scissors and clean that up, but it's going to get covered with the hackle. Fishing flies, if you want to impress people, then go ahead and do all of that. But it takes a lot less to impress a trout than it does to impress a man. And the whole purpose of us tying the flies is to catch trout. And we're going to go ahead and end our body right there. And I'm going to take my hackle. Actually, I'm going to put my hackle pliers on there. And I'm going to palmer this. Take a first wrap right at the back. And then palmer it to the front. Palmering being open spaces. And you can see that rib in there with that furnace. And we're going to tie that off right there. Go ahead and break off that last piece those couple hairs or the couple hackles sticking out forward you can go ahead and push them back and now for the wing I'm going to use that elk hair once again I'm going to cut off a bunch you want a little bit more than what you'd put for the tail and we're gonna cut off a bunch of that and now I'll show you removing the hairs first just with your fingers if there's any real long hairs there go ahead and pull them out and you can remove that now this is a good tool here this is actually a flea and tick brush nice or flea and tick comb it works really well you can get it for two bucks at the dollar store prop and uh, got this one actually at the Dollar General and it pulls that under hair right out. We're going to put that in the hair stacker. Push that all in there. And give it a couple of taps. By removing that, that small hair, the fuzz, you're enabling the individual hairs to be able to stack properly. That hair isn't going to, that fuzz isn't going to hold the hairs in place. And this one was curved a little bit, so I'm going to take it out just like that. 
I'm going to tie it on with that curve. And we want these, we want this wing to go right to the tip of the tail. And we're going to go ahead, I'm going to hold this tight, and I'm going to basically spinning the front. And you can go ahead and go work that right through. And then I'm going to trim all of this. And even a little bit of that, let me widen that out some. But even even some of that uh, wing is sticking up a bit high, so I'm going to trim that right off also. The wing is a big help on the flotation, obviously. But also the hackle is giving you a lot of the flotation. So I'm going to trim this nice and tight. Tight as I dare here. Take that. I'm going to have to go in sideways because of the eye of the hook. go and one way to beat the you see all of these hairs sticking out all directions if you're I'm happy with using it just like that but if you want to get that nice and straight you can steam them and then you can get them into the shape that you want I'm gonna go ahead and trim as much of this as like I said as much as I dare Get a lot of those big fat ones or those big ones out of the way. And right there, that's that that's an acceptable fly right there, but this isn't the way the pattern goes. So I'm going to tie all this down. Get it right from the front. Most of that tight in. Still got a couple wild ones and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off. Couple side ones sticking out a little bit far. Now there's a couple ways you can get your scissors in there and go ahead and trim them all. There's also another way to get rid of all of that hair. You can very well just use that just as it is. I'm going to take my lighter and singe them. Just got to watch you don't use it too much, too too long on one spot because you will burn your thread. I pull the thread out of my way. Now I'm going to take another furnace hackle or take that furnace hackle. I don't have enough on this one so I need to get another. And I like to use saddles back when I bought these saddles they were actually a fair price and if you've bought a saddle heckle lately you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna take another of the furnace hackles just a nice short one this time there we go that'll be good and I'm gonna give that the haircut I'm actually gonna climb up there a little bit There we go, get to some of the hackles that aren't as long. You can see those ones in the back there are really long. I'm going to trim this. And give this the haircut. And I'm going to trim that length just a little bit more because that head is... Tie this in place, leaving just a barbel of two 
or the crew cut. And now I'm going to dub some more of that golden stone or that golden brown color on the head. Let's make a nice skinny noodle this time because you already got a nice fat head with all of that hair, with all of that elk hair on there. And I'm actually going to look at the bottom here. There we go. Yeah, I got to put just a little bit more on there. Remember, you can always add more. Don't rush. Fly tying is supposed to be a relaxing thing. And then we get it right to the head there. And I'm going to kind of form a little bit of a head. Bring that thread up there just a bit. I'm going to take our hackle pliers once again. I'm going to wrap one wrap right at the head, and then I'm going to palmer it once again. One, twice, two and a half times looks pretty good. And we're going to tie this in place. Go ahead and break that off. And finish up the head. Take our whip finish. Now go ahead and trim this off, put a little bit of head cement on there. And here we have a guard side elk hair stone fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would enjoy it. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors. If you'd like to purchase this or any flies that I tie, go to my Etsy page, etsy.com slash shop slash the Flyman Gym. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.